Hi, Carolyn Carney here at Palais Arts, and I'm standing with the magnificent Mitch Larson with two of his pieces, uh, both of the pieces that he'll have in our It Is Written show, which runs from now through October 29th and has a special preview during the uh, Collingswood Fine Arts and Crafts Festival on August 19th and 20th. Mitch, can you introduce us to your pieces? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this one up here is a photograph that I took on Ultramax 400. I, all of the photos that I take are done on 35 millimeter film mm -hmm. um, called News of the Day. And it is a photograph that I took in the 157th subway uh, up in uh, New York. On the bottom, we have uh, a photo called A Requiem for a Bookstore Flipboard. <laughs> and it's a photo that I took in an old bookshop in Philadelphia mm -hmm. called Shakespeare and Company. Oh, yeah. Um, and inside they have this had this unfortunately they closed a gorgeous old flipboard almost kind of reminds you of what they used to have at 30th street station yeah and that um, they still have at penn station and we saw them at penn station yes yeah. and um that was shot on t-max 400 so these are great and obviously the show is called it is written yeah. which means it's both about uh letters and words and language but also about stories and your work uh hits two different ways of telling a story this is a requiem, which is a very specific, I don't, for those of you who don't know, requiems are a mass. Uh, they are also like sung requiems, and uh, they are ruminations on things of the past. Yeah. And so this is such a great thing because you're ruminating on the death of the bookstore. Yeah. Um, and then this is very funny as well because, again, you're talking about writing. It's called News of the Day. You can see some, uh, oh, no, those are glass blocks. They're are no newspapers in this. It's all Skittles and candy and water and cigarettes uh, and pretzels. There's one. It's the very bottom of the frame. Oh, yeah. He's like, putting it's like it the in. last. That's yeah, so it's funny. In, not even there yet. Everything else is <laughs> all the other stuff in a newsstand, right? So it's a newsstand. News of the day. The news of the day is sugar and coffee. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of Skittles. Lots of bottles. A lot, lots of, of uh, Gatorade 5 yeah. Hour Energy, um, which, um, so your work seems like it's very introspective and it's your first it's our first time showing you uh and so uh your work is very introspective and thoughtful and you're thinking about these concepts how did you get into this what do you do like what strikes you as yes this is the photo i want to want to do want to take yeah well in in each situation is kind of totally different Mm -hmm. So with Requiem for a Bookstore Flipboard, I knew that Shakespeare and Company was closing. And yeah. it was a bookstore that I used to, on my commute, I'd walk up from Paco to where I worked. Yeah. And I'd pass it all the time. I'd stop in all the time. Yeah. Pick up books, grab a cup of coffee. I loved it. And when I knew they were closing, I wanted to go and take my camera. And the Flipboard in particular always struck me. And every once in a while, when I kind of needed a little bit of inspiration, I would take a photo of the Flipboard in different angles. Oh, yeah. And this is the last one that I actually taken. And I love just the movement and the motion of it, right? Yeah. I kind of got it. It took like... 15 photos, like half of a roll almost, yeah. of the same of the same kind of angles and different shots of it. And this is the one that I love the most because of the motion of the board. Yeah. Some of it is perfectly still, and then you have some of it still kind of flipping. Well, and also over. the perspective of it that is really interesting because the way that it's moving through on the diagonal, you feel the movement of that and the transition of that. So you're working with transition in two different ways, both the motion of the board and the motion of the image, which feels very fitting for this idea of Requiem, which is about a thoughtful way of moving on. Right. And with the News of the Day photo, it was kind of the exact opposite, which is, ironically enough, the reason I got into film photography was I had a DSLR, and I just found myself just taking so many shots. For the viewer and for me, what's the DSLR? So it's um, like a digital camera, where you can oh, just okay, take as okay, many okay. photos as you would like to take. Yeah. Um, which is great and convenient for so many things. Yeah. But for me, I just found like 95 photos of my cats, you know, like yeah. a lot of the same things. Some of them are in photos. You don't, like, like uh, we talk with, like, uh, another photographer, and it's funny because the three last appointments we're doing are all with the photographers we show. Oh, really? And this idea that, like, everybody thinks they're a photographer now because they take a million pictures on their digital camera or their phone, and they're all of their cats or what they eat for dinner. Yeah. So you were talking, sorry, I interrupted you, but... You were speaking about this digital camera you had. Yeah, which and I love photos taken on those. I, lo I loved using it, and I still use it occasionally. Yeah. But I wanted to get something that made it feel like I was being more intentional. So I switched, yeah. uh, my brother's encouragement, I switched to film. This is kind of like the exact opposite of all that. I was trying to practice street photography. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to just kind of take things that looked interesting compositionally and just lined up 
kind of quickly take it and then took it and move it on to the next thing. Um, so this one was a happy accident, but when I got the roll back, I just loved kind of everything about it. I love the, the texture of the tile on the wall. You, you have a man over here just kind of waiting, looking for the oncoming train. Mm -hmm. The way that you have the inside of the booth is illuminated. Just told a few Yeah, yeah and and this is the brightest, like the, the brightest part of it is all of the things that are not the news of the day. Exactly. And so this provides like, especially since it's in New York, like New York newsstand becomes like a shorthand for a lot of us and a lot of sure. life. And so you're showing the motion of the city and uh, the starting of the day. And the brightest thing is the stuff that's not the news. Exactly. It's everything else that you can get that has nothing to do with like yes. what's actually happening. So, um, and I, I do really like, we often with the artist talks do just one image, but we, I wanted to do both of them because they are such different perspectives. They are, you can, like, they are entirely yours, and you can tell that they came from the same person, but they're two different ways of commenting on life. This is a slice of life, a moment that you are recording and then you're going to reflect on later. This is has such intention because you're documenting the last of something, and they both tell a story and are documenting things, but at the same time, you're documenting them in two different ways, in two different directions, in two different styles. Uh, which I think is really beautiful. Um, this um, show is obviously about words, mm -hmm. but we talk about it is written when Carol and I talked about it and we're creating it. We did want to show every different kind of way that words manifest meaning in terms of blurbs and letters and other documents and law and stories and mythology and the stories we tell each other and puns and all of those things. But... Um, we also know that it is written, we use the words it is written to describe, oftentimes people say it is written that, mm -hmm. so we use it to describe stories too, uh, which means that what we're actually talking about is language and perspective, right. um, which is what you're doing here. When you're taking uh, your photos, what, what are you trying, like how do you think of story when you're working in photography? I try to see things very cinematically. Long before I was interested in photos, I was really interested in watching movies and TV and yeah. stories. And that was my introduction to motion photography was my introduction to photography. Yeah. So when I compose images and see things, I still see things very cinematically. So when I try mm -hmm. to take a photo, I try to make sure there's some story to it. There's something mm -hmm. that it's telling broader than kind of what's just in frame, um, which is two things that really stood out about both these photos to me. Yeah. And uh, I think that that's something that when we were looking at it, I was curious how that matched up with how we were thinking about it. Yeah. Because we, you, all of your photos, I think you submitted four or five, yeah. uh, were great. But we thought that this was such a strong juxtaposition because uh, you also had one other book. Uh, yes. But uh, we thought this was such a strong juxtaposition because it encompasses, even within it, two different ways of telling a story. Right. Um, and so we're so excited to have you on our show and uh, to be working with you. And we're glad that you're uh, getting started with our gallery. And we hope that you'll come see Mitch's beautiful work in our It Is Written show from now through August 29th. Awesome. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.